story to tell. Despite having a long-standing aircraft carrier, the Indian Navy has yet to find a suitable model for its aircraft carrier. Recently, at the 2021 Bangalore Air Show, the Indian Air Force unveiled three new fighter aircraft. This includes the upgraded Glorious Mark II, an experimental stealth fighter AMCA, and an aircraft carrier-based fighter, the TEDBF fighter. The TEDBF is a new twin-engine fighter scheduled to launch before 2026 and can carry a wide range of modern Indian weapons. It can reach a top speed of Mark 1.6. The service ceiling is about 18,000 meters. The wingspan is 12.2 meters when opened and 7.6 meters when faulted. The length of the plane is 16.3 meters. The TEDBF's goal is not only to replace the current 41 MiG-29 K fighter squadron, but also to equip new fighters for the IAC-1 Vikram aircraft carrier. Earlier, the Indian military planned to purchase 57 carrier-based Mantaran aircraft supplied by foreign manufacturers. According to India, the TEDBF is the shortest development of an aircraft carrier-based fighter jet program in history. India will invest $1.79 billion in the development of three prototypes. The TEDBF is expected to perform multiple roles like combat air patrol, air-to-air combat, anti-ship strike, and battery refueling. Within six years, India will have to complete its aircraft program, which is an ambitious and rather difficult task. However, compared to other defense products, India has accumulated experience in the design of light fighters. In particular, the takeoff and landing sections of aircraft carrier-based fighters. India also has experience in aircraft carrier operations. It needs long-range fighters with two engines. This is also the reason why the Indian Navy refused to use the LCA fighter, even though it has completed the process of taking off and landing on the aircraft carrier. The design of India's two-engine carrier-based fighter is quite interesting. The TEDBF looks a lot like a Rafale fighter. It appears to be a two-engine version of the LCA Mark II. A similar example is the French Mirage 4000, which is also based on the Mirage 2000 fighter jet. India's aviation industry has not developed well in size and capacity. Surely the country cannot promote many key defense projects at the same time. So it can only utilize existing technology, which saves considerable time and money. To 
To further enhance its versatility, the TEDBF also inherited the idea for the design of the ORCA fighter, similar to the Rafale and Rafale M. This allows the TEDBF to land on fixed airports, giving the Navy more flexibility. As the current design, the TEDBF has a canard configuration with two air intakes on either side of the fuselage. It has up to 13 external hard points, can carry up to 19 sub-weapons. TEDBF has a maximum takeoff weight of 26 tons. TEDBF has many advantages in technology and is a rare project in India that is progressing smoothly. Inheriting many achievements from the LCA project, such as aerodynamics, flight control, takeoff and landing technology on aircraft carriers. India's TEDBF fighter will fit the country's carrier design especially the size of the carrier elevator. Among the foreign fighters that India can choose from today, the Rafale M is 10 meters wide but cannot throw these wings. The French proposal for this was to remove the wingtip before entering the hangar. My video about the India TEDBF fighter ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.